create a straight segment. To create a new part from this library part, double click it in the design library, then save as. Call the first one straight.sldprt. Insert a sketch on the largest face of the female connector. Draw a circle for each rail. A trick shown here, if you hover over the circular edge, it wakes up the center point. Then click the center point to make the circle concentric. If you click on the circular edge now, it will not fully define the circle. But if you click where the edge meets another edge, you can make a coincident relation that will fully define it. This straight section will eventually have multiple configurations for different lengths. To ensure we can configure the length, a blind extrude should be used without merging entities. The reason for this is that move copy bodies does not create a configurable dimension, but it can be used to mate the part to the end of the extrude. Set the extrude depth to 5 inches. Deselect merge result. Click OK. Order the boss extrude before the male connector. Edit the move copy bodies absorbed by connector male. Click constraints. Add a coincident constraint to position the male connector at the end. Click add and click OK. Add a combined feature and add all the bodies together to make this into a single body part. Double click on the extrude feature. Right click on the 5 inch dimension and select configure dimension. Fill out the table as follows. This creates 10 configurations where the length is different in each one. Activate a couple configurations to ensure that they update correctly. Save your changes and close.